6 weather forecast. Good morning. You're taking in the view from our downtown studio sky cam. This is a very interesting view. Javi, would you call this a spaceship look? <laughs> yeah, we've got a break in the clouds there, uh, but plenty as we look off over the Gulf of Mexico and some wet roadways here around downtown, like many places in the coastal bend. So please be careful as you head out. Let's get a look at the radar and see what's going on. The heaviest rainfall still off over the Gulf of Mexico, and it's making its way on shore uh, near Sea Drift, Oswell up by Port Lavaca. We have not seen the heaviest of the rainfall, but we have seen some good downpours so far this morning. Uh, this loop shows us the past three hours where uh, we had a good drink of water move through downtown, and that's why those roadways are so wet this morning. But uh, taking a look now closer at Nueces County and moving into Claybrook County, Kingsville, some showers between uh, where you are up through Bishop along Highway 77. Uh, Driscoll just missing out on some of those showers, but Bishop, you're the winner. You'll get one of those. It'll be quick and probably won't be very heavy, but but we'll make for wet roadways along Highway 77, so watch out for that. Right now, we're watching the heaviest rain move along a more farther north along Highway 77 from Sinton on up into southern Refugio County. That's what these dark shades of green tell us on the radar. And even heavier downpours, though more isolated as you make your way up 181 towards Skidmore and again down toward Mathis. So it'd be great if this could nudge over a little bit more and fall in our lakes, help with, all, with the lake levels. But again, this is just... Uh, a little bit at a time now. We'll have more coming later this morning and through the afternoon. I said yesterday's rainfall was the appetizer. This morning's rain, somebody's bringing the breadsticks to the table, and we'll have our main course entree coming in just a couple of hours here. But a little bit more rain starting to move on shore in our northern communities. Port Aransas getting a good downpour here, moving on shore. This may hold on and cross toward Aransas Pass, and maybe a quick little shower for those of you in Rockport this morning. But again, the bulk of the rain looking to come a bit later on. Still, look at what the rain has done to our temperatures and those oppressive feels like temperatures we've been dealing with each morning. The rain works to cool the air. So we're down to 79 in Rockport, only feeling like 83. That's an improvement. Uh, Port A, your latest reading at 80 degrees, feeling like 85. And Naval Air Station Corpus Christi, 83, feeling like 91. That may not seem like a whole lot, but yesterday, uh, close to this time, it was feeling like 100 degrees out there for that feels like temperature. So that is an improvement. Uh, some of the cooler spots, Beeville, 75, and feeling like it's 74 and freer. Also feeling like it this morning. So today's rain is really going to help us out. It's going to bring those temperatures down from where we've seen them. And already we're noticing a difference from this time yesterday. Four degrees cooler in Rockport, two degrees cooler in Beeville, uh, three degrees cooler in Port A and at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi. So as we go through the next couple of hours here, specifically in Corpus Christi, this is what you can expect. We'll have clouds for much of the day when we don't have the, the rain falling down. So it'll be cooler. We don't get to the 90s by lunchtime as we have for the past month. In fact, we probably won't see much of the 90s at all today. That's what I have for our high temperature, 90 degrees on the nose. We haven't been that cool since June 1st, and we haven't had this good of a rain outlook the expected rainfall in the order of about three quarters to possibly an inch of rainfall for us. We haven't seen that good of a drink since July, uh, June 5th, so this would be very beneficial. Keep the rain in the forecast starting in the late morning hours through the afternoon. Now, taking a wider view at what's going on, this is a whole bunch of tropical moisture, and some folks were asking in the Weather Watchers group, what gives? Is this something we need to worry about? No, this is not something we're concerned about for tropical development. It's just a good batch of tropical moisture. Tis the season and we're not worried about development. One, it's so close to land. Two, unfriendly environment. Lots of wind shear. Winds going in different directions and speeds with height. Can't get a circulation out of that. So we're just going to take the benefit of some good rainfall that we very much need. Again, that timing a little different depending on where you are. More of that rain happening along the coast. So Corpus Christi, we're going to see the bulk of the rain today. But Alice and Beeville will share the afternoon as our most rainiest time for today. This trails off a bit as we go to the overnight. We'll still have some showers going on into Friday morning, but things really wrapping up as we head on to the weekend. And those temperatures heating right up. We'll be dealing with sweltering heat again at the beginning of next week.